What's good, everybody? This is Elijah Wright. Well, you know who I am, but I got this dude that I know from Michigan that he he kind of like rolled into town and stuff. What, what the heck was this, my boy? But uh, anyway, introduce yourself, bro. <laughs> What's good, y'all? My name is Sean Ladd II, and I'm here with this dude to do a very important video for you guys today. First of all, what we gonna talk about is our black women, our beautiful chocolate black sisters. Our beautiful black women that are. <laughs> Yo, chill out, dog. Uh, I mean, I mean, our, our beautiful black women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, Nick? Nah, in our realness, though, black women, y'all are beautiful. Very Don't let nobody ever tell you otherwise. Very beautiful. I mean, that brown, that dark skin, you can't go wrong with that. Y'all got it going on. <laughs> yeah, straight up. It's really? like, y'all have natural hair, too. Like, y'all got that Jill Scott vibe going on, you know, with that uh, afro. And then, like, y'all got the pick, y'all picking it out and stuff. Or, like, when y'all have other hairstyles, like, straight up, y'all got it going on. That's why these other women from these other races be trying to act like y'all. Natural hair, you're so beautiful. Your black skin is so wonderful. No, I'm just with y'all. Anyway, another thing I noticed too about black women that I just don't see in like the other nations and stuff is like, black don't crack, man. Black does not crack. You know, it's uh, funny because you know, in the past I've worked with uh, other races of girls who uh, who work with black girls as well. And then one of the time the black girl said, you know, black don't crack. And then one of the girls from another of another race was like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing like, <laughs> like, 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 all right, you don't know what it mean? Why don't you get 50 years old and you'll find out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we just saying it don't crack at all. <laughs> you know, and that that is so dang on true because like, I, I be seeing um black women that are like in their fifties and like they skin don't have one wrinkle on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, I, I'm I'm just being honest. When I get married and stuff, and like, I go to wake up in the morning. I don't want to wake up to a wrinkled up, shriveled up. Look like she descended out of um what what is that movie called Drag Me to Hell looking chick you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and a good example of uh, Black Don't Crack is my grandmother, you know I love her so my much. grandmama too boy yeah Go on, continue <laughs> but yeah I love this woman so much and she looks she's 72 years old no 71 <laughs> but <laughs> she gonna get me for getting that wrong but uh 71 but um. She look like she's about 45, maybe 40. Dang, and it's just boy. like, man. See, that's what I'm and she barely about, has man. any gray hairs. It's mostly black in her hair. And it's just like, black don't crack, man. I'm telling you, Oof. boy. And you know, white man, he gonna probably confuse that and be like, black don't crack. And like, yes, you do. You guys smoke crack cocaine. And another thing, I'm gonna give you guys three examples as to how black women don't get enough credit in this world. First one would be education. Am I right? Right. Education, man, they're they're the top educated people in our race right now. And I know a lot of y'all probably be like, <laughs> "Look at this," and you'll and you'll show me a picture of twerking. But nah, listen, nah, man, nah. that's that's like the minority of um, black women. Go ahead, really. And uh, I would say uh, number two would probably have to be uh, jobs, right? Right, man, for sure, jobs, and like. When I go throughout the walks of life and everything, I've been throughout a whole lot of schools in my life and everything, and I'm in college now. And before, sometime last year, I was in nursing school, and all I saw was black nurses and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, because most of the Negro dudes are too busy at home playing Grand Theft Auto. Or in jail, or just doing their own thing. Y'all knows what. Right. And it's just like, it's like, come on. And on a little bit of a lighter note, Number three would have to be cooking. <laughs> cooking. Ooh, that pound cake your mama made. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, man. My mom makes some good food, especially her uh, her desserts. She makes the best cream cheese pound cake and that uh, apple pie. And we ain't even talk about that uh, Drake joint, but 
Okay, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, but um, that apple pie, woo wee, on point. I'm telling you. It's Honestly, like, I ain't never had none of your mama's apple pie before, but I would like to try some. Right, we're gonna have to hit you up with that. But any anyway, um, yeah. So and that's that's three examples. You know what I'm saying? And do you have any more to say? What, you know when it what? Comes to the three examples. Touching on that cooking tip, though. My little sister Sophia, you know, she be getting down. She be making like them. Um, she could be. She can make burger buns, and then like she be making pies. She made donuts. She be making cakes from scratch. She be um, frying pita bread. She, that, that girl. Well, I, I tell she, you one thing. I'm gonna be very involved, and whoever wants to date her. <laughs> Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, just like those um, that bread that she made for our sandwiches today when we had turkey sandwiches. Whew, you black tell women me. can cook, man. Black women can cook. Another thing I want to bring out is the fact that black women they are loyal. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all, y'all try to say things like these hoes ain't loyal. That's just not true. I mean, the whorish, unclassy black women only make up a small percentage of. The population of black women in America. Most of the black girls I know. <clears throat> I mean, okay, fine. I will admit that I do know some black girls that are misguided. But even with their boyfriends and everything, you can still tell that they actually give a crap about the dude that they with. Right. You know, dudes be talking about how uh, the women always yelling at them or saying uh, or wanting to know about them and stuff. It's like, get off my back. It's like, no, dude. She care about you. That's why right. she own you. Exactly, man. I saw a post. <clears throat> I saw a post the other day that said that um, if a woman, if your woman is telling you to go mess with your other hoes, <clears throat> right? She's only saying that because she believes that these other so-called hoes that she think you have see the same thing in you that she sees in you. Now, I think that is very real, right? Yeah. That if she's stressing over you like that. Where she making such a big deal tripping out like why, why, why are you staying out so late and stuff dude she actually cares about you man did, did that ever occur to you y'all make it seem like black women just are the epitome of unfaithfulness dude right i mean quiet as it kept um most of the cheating cases that i've seen and heard of have been situations where the dude was with either a light-skinned chick or a white chick or like a Latino or somebody like that. I hardly ever hear of a chocolate sister leaving her man talking about, um, oh, cause she was cheating on him or something like that. I mean, I'm sure it's happened before. I mean, look, dude, we live in a world of like seven billion people. Of course, there's gonna be some variables in that population, okay? But for the most part, black women don't cheat on their men. Right, and also too, I've heard many stories of uh, black girls getting bashed by black men who date all these white women and women from other races and stuff. It's like, come on, dude. That's your own race. That's your own woman. That's basically your rib. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, I like that analogy. That rib. But here's another analogy for y'all. So your mama is a piece of crap then, huh? But you hate the race of women that you come forth from. You hate the black woman, and she gave birth to your butt, man. Doggone shame. I mean, I've just seen it, like, plenty of times where, like, you be in a Walmart or something like that, and you see this decent-looking black dude. I mean, he don't be an ugly dude at all. So, in other words, he can get any beautiful sister that he want to get. But you see him in the store with this big old buff-looking, uh, what what's that what's that pig name? Miss Piggy looking white chick. Dog on shame. And it's like, I mean, I done seen plenty of beautiful sisters out there that are single, but it's like you would rather a matter of fact, on top of that, I done seen beautiful sisters, like very pretty sisters, man. Knockout gorgeous sisters get cheated on in favor of someone that looked like Miss Piggy. Or just any white girl or any race. Yeah, in general. But for the most part, I see Miss Piggy. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, Oh, these guys are racist. These guys are hateful. Oh, uh, you should have love in your hearts and stuff. It's not about that. We're just keeping it real. Right. We're keeping, keeping it keeping straight it real, up real dude. for y'all. Keeping it 155, okay?
You just zoomed in. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Really, Nick? I mean, but no, nah, truth be told, I see black women from the um, movie stars to the um, to dudes that like live down the street from me. And it's like, I always see y'all going after these women of other nations while talking about black women like they ain't crap, man. I mean, it's like Chris Rock, he just divorced his wife in favor of some Latino chick. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, he had a beautiful wife, dude. I mean, what what's her name? I, I forget what her name I is. I can't think of it either. Yeah, but uh, it, Chris Rock, he, he had a beautiful wife and he had kids and everything. So like, what are you telling your daughters, man? You telling her, oh, oh y'all ain't beautiful enough to keep a black man. Now, I will be honest, and I, and I will say this to um, black women, and this is just a, um, this is a critique, okay? This is all done out of love, okay? But I want to say that you, you guys, uh, y'all really should work on being yourselves, and don't ever allow the insecurity of the fact that a lot of black men don't appreciate black women cause you to change in order to try to be something else that you're not. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, for example, weave. Yeah, weave. Wearing, that's a good wearing another person's hair, getting Indian hair and extensions and wigs and different things of that nature just to look good for us. It's like, we don't need all that. We like you as you are. Exactly. It, you don't have brothers. You don't have black dudes talking about uh, women's hairlines for nothing, okay? <laughs> Right. I mean, we just keeping it real and everything. But when when y'all embrace y'all natural self and like every time I see a natural sister, it's like wow, like dang, it's like you, it's like you want to talk to her just to see what in her mind caused her to just be herself instead of conforming to society standards of beauty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you see all these commercials <laughs> on TV, and you're like, oh man, I want to look like that because that's what. America and society says I should look like and to, to yeah. attract people so yeah I'm gonna look just like that exactly like you you see these um Pantene commercials with um chicks like Ava Means or um Jennifer Lopez you no know, waving their hair in slow motion and stuff and you see them zooming on zooming in on the little hair follicle and stuff and you like dang <laughs> why, why, why do they get straight hair no no forget all of that okay that's propaganda okay that's what if you expose a kid, look, look, okay, I, I got something for y'all, okay? If I take a seed and I throw it in a radioactive wasteland and then let it grow up, you're going to have a deformed, retarded-looking tree. You know what I'm saying? That's what has happened to us as a people. We sit down, right, as a little kid from, like, the time that we're three, and we're constantly programmed with these images of what beauty is and what class is and what, um, how we should speak, how we should talk, how we should act what we should look like, what we need to be doing and what we shouldn't be doing and stuff. And that stuff has a profound effect on little kids' minds, man. Right, and uh, one more thing I also want to uh, say about the looks and trying to look all good and stuff is makeup. Makeup, no, thank no, you. No makeup, all that eyeliner, lipstick, and uh, eyeshadow, and mascara, and whatever y'all put on. And stuff. Don't you realize, for one thing, that that kind of messes up your skin a little bit? It makes you look sleepy and like you need, like you going through something after you take that makeup off because you look totally different. Go natural. Go natural. Yeah, go natural. Don't mess up that beautiful face yeah, with put, put some, makeup on. Put some coconut cream on. That'll make your skin, that'll make you look like you got makeup on without having makeup on. But you that feel Vaseline me? works wonders. Works, <laughs> I said wonders. Works wonders. <laughs> so. Right, man. Right. Another thing I want to say, too, is um, concerning, like, perms, you know? I mean, this has been going on for some time now, since, like, the early 19... This, back, way back before the 1920s, per se, right? Mm -hmm. But people have felt the need to um, wear perms and stuff because it makes them feel closer to being white, you know? Right. Or, or like, even the dyeing of your hair per se, you know? You don't have to do all that stuff to be beautiful. Exactly. And another thing to, um, on another, on a completely different note, that I would like to say to black women too, y'all, we've already said before that y'all are beautiful, but y'all don't have to 
expose yourselves and you know wear mini skirts and um, leggings and all that stuff to pick up a man you know if you dress like that the only kind of dude you're gonna attract is some Negro named Rico who only want to mess with you for one day now you might actually be in love with the dude but he gonna play you until he gets what he wants and then he's gonna turn around and walk off and he's gonna leave you behind and always I kind of get annoyed by that whole thing when uh, you get women out there uh, all racist for even just anything who say uh, uh, just because of, uh, they're, they're not looking at me or or blah 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 because of what I wear or they'll say something like uh, uh, I don't attract certain people or blah 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 that doesn't mean I'm a, a certain person or a, a, I don't really usually like saying this word but slut right just because of the way I dress blah 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 you no know? yeah. us men <laughs> we're we're different creatures we see a girl walking down with a uh, with a short skirt or whatever, you know, we only think it one thing. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like, exactly. come on now. Nah. Come on. Right. Cover yeah. yourself up. You don't need to save whatever you got for your husband. Right. And and that, and that I really think it's sad, too, because I done seen, like, dude, I done seen, like, a whole bunch of girls, man. They be like, you know, they be in love with their boyfriend and stuff, and this dude, he push, he pressures them on and on and on and on. Talking about, look, we need to do it. We need to go on and do this thing, you know? And then she be sitting there, like, you know, trying to chill out and stuff. And the next thing you know, this dude gets her pregnant, leaves her with a baby, then goes around and talks about her like a dog to his boys and stuff. Have her looking all like she a nasty tramp. And then now she got to sit there and deal with this emotional breakdown and heartbreak and stuff. Why this dude going to another chick to do the same thing to her? You know? Same exact thing. And it's, it's just sad. You know, we just made this video just to empower our black women, you know, and to let you guys know what we think of you. We think you guys are wonderful. Exactly. And we only deal with black women because they were there to hold us down during slavery, Jim Crow, Ronald Reagan, crack cocaine, uh, etc., man. She was there for us. Now she's mad because we weren't there for her. Uh, she was holding us down during slavery and the civil rights movement and Jim Crow and all of that stuff. We were sitting there letting her be raped by the white man. We were sitting there not protecting her while she was being lynched and while her baby was being slid out of her stomach to be stumped on the pavement by some white man with a boot. You know what I'm saying? And while we were being hoarded into labor prisons for uh, based off of some bogus charge of some white chick lying saying that one of us raped her which we all know didn't happen or if that wasn't the case and we were home what were we doing to the black woman we were hitting and abusing her yet and still she loved us even though we didn't protect her or do right by her still to this day now she's starting to get frustrated and to sit here and make it seem like black women are just totally in the wrong and like they are the epitome of just dirtiness and unrighteousness and like they are the cause of all the problems in the black community simply for being mad at black men for the things that we haven't protected them from or the things that we've done to black women or said about black women over all these years is basically no different than when the white man generalized us based off of the crimes of a few. And it's just, it's just like man you wish that our black man would wake up as you know the bible says that we're we're supposed to be the head we're Straight supposed up, to lead man. the Straight way up. and the women that way the women will be right and our whole race will be right exactly. our man got some explaining to do yeah y'all yeah. got some explaining to do right just like jay said <laughs> that being said forget women of other races if you ain't a sister then don't even bother me what you gotta say never ever leave a black queen uh. Never ever leave a black queen. Okay, critique black women as far as like their insecurities and weave all that stuff. And, and also about giving stuff up before marriage. Yeah. Because that makes the dude lose respect for you and everything. Dressing inappropriately and stuff. We'll, we'll both talk about it. You, you want me to start off? Can I help you? No, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs>